and developing now stuck on the street. A deputy responding to the scene of a lewd and lascivious report where he crashed and killed a pedestrian who said that uh, who was said to be just lying on the road. It turns out that man was the subject he was looking for. Local 10's Terrell Fournay joining us live outside BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale with this story. Terrell. And this appears to be the result of a very tragic accident. It happened very early in the morning, about an hour before the sun was set to rise, but it's unclear why that victim was in the roadway to begin with. A backpack on the side of the road, a yellow tarp nearby. This is the end result of a fatal hit involving a BSO patrol car and a pedestrian. The incident happened early Saturday morning in Pompano Beach in the 1500 block of MLK Boulevard. Detectives tell Local 10 deputies were called to the area after getting a call about lewd and lascivious conduct involving a man near North Power Line Road. But as an arriving deputy drove near the scene, his patrol car hit a man either crying or laying in the roadway. That victim was pronounced dead and was later identified as 28-year-old Jamil Moreland, the same person tied to that original lewd and lascivious report. Investigators with the Broward Sheriff's Office have been looking into the circumstances of the case ever since. We've learned the deputy behind the wheel was 24-year-old Wyatt Genesee, who's only been on the force for a little over a year. But cops say driver impairment, speeding, and any mechanical malfunction have all been ruled out as elements contributing to the accident, but the case is still actively being reviewed. So no word on the status of that BSO deputy who was behind the wheel, if perhaps he is still on his regular assignments or um, on some sort of desk duty. The Broward Sheriff's Office has not said at this point. That is the very latest live from BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. All right, Terrell, thank you. Not